We're calling it an unofficial holiday here in the U.S. Right. Opening day for Major League Baseball. For the White Sox, the new season means lots of new faces, both on and off the field. Joe Donnellan is out at Cork and Cary and Bridgeport. And Joe, you got an opportunity to speak with the new voice of the White Sox today. Did indeed, Jim and Marie, what a great guy. Baseball, of course, a huge part of Chicago. And as we know, the broadcasters are often as popular as the players. We have had some absolutely colorful legends come through here. Jack Brickhouse, Harry Carey, Hawk Harrelson. The Sox have a new television play-by-play -play voice this season. John Schifrin, or Schiffen is his name, and he's replacing the very popular Jason Benetti, who left to call games for the Detroit Tigers. Big shoes to fill for sure. We caught up with Schiffen today before the game. Spring training's under your belt. How you feeling? You never have another first opening day, so I'm excited. I mean, just walking into the ballpark, you can feel the energy. Everyone's saying happy opening day. It's, it, it feels different, and I'm ready to soak it up. Every day I come in, I'm like, how is this my office? Like, really, you look around, this is a gorgeous field. I get up in the booth, I've got the best seat in the house. I do have to pinch myself. Baseball for me has a special place in my heart because baseball helped me figure out who I am as a person. Grew up in New York City, I'm biracial. My dad's white, my mom's black. And in the 80s, walking around the city with my parents, I got looks and I felt different. I felt weird, I felt uncomfortable. But whenever I was on a baseball field, I didn't feel uncomfortable. I felt like one of the guys. And people saw me as a pitcher, as a player, and all they cared about was, can you play the game? And I could, and I fit in, and that's why for me, being on a baseball field, broadcasting, it feels like home, it's my comfort zone. Have you come up with a trademark call yet, or are you gonna let that happen sort of organically? I think I'll let it grow. People are saying, is that your home run call? No, it's not, I, haven't, I don't have a home run call yet, so whatever you heard in spring, that was not it. I might have a win call, so far, so I kind of like the South Side stand up. That might be a thing if, if, if South Siders take to it, um, but still working on like a patented home run. Call. Has the magnitude of this job sunk in just yet? I think the fans have been great. I think they've been reaching out, welcoming me to Chicago, to the White Sox, and I understand the position that I'm in, taking over for Jace Benetti, who is awesome, right? He's one of the best broadcasters in the league. He's an even better guy. So I understand what fans are going through, but. They've been great with this transition, so I understand the responsibility that I have. What are you looking forward to most? Uh, working with Steve Stone. This is his 55th year in baseball, and I just love hearing his stories, picking his brain, learning and soaking up baseball knowledge, because there's nobody better, and I can sit right next to him and just soak it in. He is a gamer. He can hoop as well. He actually played in the 2013 NBA All-Star Celebrity Game. And he's also a practice player for the WNBA's Vegas Aces. He was last season when they won it all. And that's where he lived before moving to Chicago, which he absolutely loves. He's the first black play-by-play -play announcer in Chicago baseball history. And it's his first big league job as the play-by-play -play voice for a team.